Okay, so I'm showing you today my pouring art that I do. Uh, I'm not showing you mixing the colours because, to be honest, that's quite boring. Uh, but what I do use, I get the camera right. I do use is acrylic paint and and I also do put a little bit of silicon in it as well just to help it along so uh, you may be wondering but I've put the lines on to where uh, I just like a bit of texture underneath so to start off, I like to have a sort of ascending kind of feel to it. So I start off quite dark and put a little bit of dark streaks throughout. So I like to have a sort of feel like we're sort of coming out of the shadows and going into light kind of feeling. So I'm just going to build on that. top there I've got quite a lot on there now. Uh, so I just like to um, mix it up a bit a little bit of lightness in there uh, I like to leave uh, not the tidiest of workers so it can be a little bit messy but I always think that gives a better result Want a little bit of lightness at the bottom there. But we're just going to see how this goes. It's a total experiment every time. So. And I always make the mistake of leaving my colours on the side there, which is silly. So I'm going to move them. Because when I turn the hairdryer on, it's going to go everywhere. So, here goes nothing, as you can see, I'm, ooh, right, I like to just, uh, and there we go, and the colours mix in. in there. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of the 
this just in the top there. Generally speaking, quite happy with the colours in that. Uh, bit of lightness down here. And it's just to add a bit more uh, texture in it. to reuse everything as well but I've cracked that one so I'm gonna have to throw that one away and then what are we on now so I think a bit more of this blue as well in here it's not quite the darkest one but gives it more layers of colour and I'm gonna go with the lightest one over here so lighten it up a bit Streak it a bit there. Okay. So I'm gonna try and blow it a little bit more, but I don't want to do too much. Uh, it's starting to, if you do it too much, uh, it ends up all looking like one big mess, so. A minute, let it settle. It's looking a lot better. Then on this one I'm gonna smudge some out a bit I don't like the colours on it but uh I'm just gonna I like to it just helps to bring out some of the colours on it just to just twist them a bit Blick.
Look at these, they look a little bit like waves or something. A little bit, I want it to look a little bit kind of like a rough sea or something. You know, it's kind of earthy. It's kind of the colour I'm going for. I like the colours mixing together. I kind of like how that's gone there, so I'm not going to mess around with that. Kind of looks a little bit like waves in the sea, which I like. A bit like a storm. But I think I like doing the sponge technique because I like to have the, the texture in it. I think it adds a lot of texture, which looks cool. There we go. Looking at that, see if it needs any more. One more bit there. Don't blend out with the yellow a bit. Underneath. I like that, I like how that's gone. Yep, I'm happy with that. So then. And then I'm going to let that dry a bit and then I'm going to use a little bit of silver to highlight that. I'm happy with how that's gone. I'll show you it when it's dry.